This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 29th of July, almost the end of the month. Bitcoin's almost at 70K. ETH is up a little bit, but it's still struggling, in my opinion. And Solana is doing really, really well. BNB is kind of similar chart to ETH, but looks like it's kind of stronger. Just looking at this, not doing any technical analysis, just having a look in the last seven days, which is really not good technical analysis. But long story short, like ETH isn't doing that. It's not doing amazingly. Dr. Profit said two weeks ago at 54K, buy. Now he's saying we will see a breakout to all time high. As you know, the, Bit the Bitcoin conference was a huge success. And here's a recap. This is this is Donald Trump's recap. So this is this got the, the crowd really fired up. On day one, I'll fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. And then he's got a whole list of other things. And, you know, I can't do his voice, but you can imagine how he'd say this. Bitcoin and crypto will skyrocket. Anyway, uh, if you didn't watch any of these things, there are some clips out there that are worth watching. One thing that you also may want to check out is this. So this was this is such a great post here. Everything's timestamped. So timestamped on Donald Trump's speech because it is very, very relevant to the scene. And if we come on down, we can see this major point. Make the US the lowest cost energy producer in the world, given its natural resources, and turn it into a Bitcoin mining powerhouse. Americans will not need to move to China. So the US, if Trump gets in, I don't want to get political here. So like, it's not my country. I, I don't want to I don't want to offend people. Whoever you want to vote for, <laughs> go and vote for them. You don't need to tell me in the comments. I'm not voting. I'm not an American. Anyway, so long story short, if he does get in and if he does manage to make actually the energy production very, very affordable, then this actually sparks an entire industrial revolution. Again, I mean, I know we're moving into AI and technology, but if manufacturing can move back to the US, for some things, that would be very good, for, at least for their country. Who knows? Also, if you scroll on down, you've got entire transcripts. So this is done very, very well for those people that don't have the time and just want to get like a TLDR. These are the best moments for the Bitcoin 2024 Nashville uh, conference. Here's RFK Jr. with his little spiel and Edward Snowden and a, and a bunch of other people like Michael, Ta Michael Saylor saying $3 million per uh, coin in 2049, 2045, sorry bull case 49 and so on and so on and so on just really really great clips here and also senator loomis proposing the us to buy 1 million bitcoin over five years which is massive so if that if that happens i mean it's a huge amount of money for like a normal person but for a government it's not insane but it's still pretty incredible and answer makes this point so they're basically proposing to buy five percent of the entire supply and we're trading at at 69k just put it into context now Solana dominance has hit a new all-time high. So I mentioned this the other day, but in case you didn't watch that, essentially this is the percentage of the entire crypto market cap. This is very impressive. Even the previous high uh, back in 2022, or was it 2022? I think so. The previous all-time high could have been 2021. Either way, that still didn't have the same dominance, even though we're at $250. So now, you know, there's more coins in circulation and the price is lower, but there's more dominance. Solana floor has this post. So Solana now tops ETH in 24-hour DEX volume, active addresses, fees, and revenue generation. I understand this is not ETH and all of its layer twos, of which there are many, but still, this is fantastic to see. This is doing so exceptionally well. We're going to get a lot more TVL locked, and then this will just grow and grow and grow, and you're going to notice the active addresses will just bounce up and then bounce up. It's going to be a good next few months, I think. Ansem says this is a rocket ship ready for liftoff. So you may be keen, not financial advice, but I will be doing so to sell some ETH and just go straight back into Seoul. Of course, I should have done it earlier, but you know, it's generally it's a taxable event in most countries. So I'm going to do this with uh, an aspect of one of my funds, which is controlled in Australia. So it is subject to tax, so to taxation and stuff like that. And some also says watched uh, Solana go from 40 to 230 days three years ago. And currently, the network and solar ecosystem is arguably 10x better. Now, the reason I bring this up is Ansem's, you know, more into meme coins and stuff like that. But he's got a massive following. And he doesn't, you know, he has a lot of time to jump on spaces and get lots of different viewpoints. And he has his thesis. And conviction has played out well for him. And I do think conviction is very, very important. I mean, I agree with this completely. The thing is, if I put out this tweet, I'm not going to get the same kind of reach. Either way, this is what I think. I mean... The Sol ecosystem is far more than 10x better as well. Infinex, the crate run is coming to an end. Crate earning ends July 30th. And you have 24 hours to open earned crates before they and any prizes they may contain expire. So this is just really about 
get in the community, uh, those people that want to be a part of the community, they've got a very narrow band. This is not a farming opportunity. So if you can't come back a week later, two weeks later, you've got to get in there. We've got a couple of crates here, so we've got to open these. But thanks to those that have been using my referral boosts, I will have another video out why I think Infinex will do very well. So even if you cannot get anything decent out of these crates, you can still join the Discord. They have like a poker tournament on Wednesday, like Wednesday my time, and you can win one of these NFTs. They're going to be sold at $5,000. And we'll cover that in more detail. It's quite pricey, but we'll cover that in more detail when the time comes near. I haven't got anything amazing yet, just kind of these boosts, which, you know, it's giving, it's, it's, it hasn't been uh, great, but the, I don't have a lot of funds in here either. I, and also we, got in fairly late. Either way, I like what they're doing. I like it a lot. Next bit of news, Jupiter. And this week's forecast, it's raining CATs. So what does CAT stand for? Certainty, alignment, and transparency. Meow's trying a meta. He's trying to build his own meta, meta essentially, of just being better in the space. Some people don't think this will work. I think it's worth trying. So PvP versus PPP. The way player pump player works, in my opinion, is just by having tokens very transparently known and locked up. And an example of what this is, when a token does a token launch, they have things like ecosystem fund, but you don't know what the ecosystem fund is for. They could literally use those to go and pay for a listing fee for their token. And then it's a larger amount of circulating supply. There's all sorts of random things. And I guess what projects have to decide is they have to decide, are they going to give up a large chunk of their tokens to other people at either an affordable price or airdropped or whatever they think will do long-term benefit to the project? Or do they want to try and keep the majority of the supply and then have to try and fight for attention on the timeline? Anyway, it is a huge week for Jupe. So Jupe will be go undergoing a 30% supply reduction and there'll be a vote happening soon. And of course, every vote you do with your lock dupe will get you active staking rewards. So just 30% down, boom, boom, boom. And that's very, very bullish. I think it's very, very bullish for the price. Now, I think Jupiter is going to do very well. I have, I've always said that, but there's still a lot of things that need to be built and the end of the cycle could be as early as next year. So everyone just has to keep on shipping. It hasn't really had the same kind of punch that the last cycle had in terms of IDOs launching and, and all that sort of stuff. But I still think a lot of that is coming. This is very important. If you haven't claimed your dupe, we suggest doing that before the window closes. It's 31st of July, dupe, 3 p.m. UTC. Link is down here. Also, if you haven't used it already, Z has a, an airdrop checker. It's brilliant. And if you pay, it's like $20 a month. You can put in all your wallets and it'll say if you've claimed or if you haven't claimed. And that's very, very good. I've also got a video on this. So I'll link it below. But as Topo says, no one has made me more money than Z. There are so many wall addresses that have not claimed their dupe. And a lot of them, people have control of, like they still have control of, they have the private key, they have the seed phrase, they just don't know to even check it. I even still have some wallets I need to check. Zeta Markets had their first Genesis Epoch trading reward. So if you trade there, you get a slice of the 8 million Zex rewards. I'm keen to know if people are actually using this DEX. I do want to make a tutorial on it. They do have a content creator fund. It's just at a, a very small amount. So like it's a tiny re reward base. So it basically won't even cover, like my share wouldn't even cover the, the cost of my editors. So I want to, I just need to prioritize it. But let me know if you're using it. Have you done your Bonk Olympics? If not, you need to get into there soon and let the dog know who you think will be in the top five countries by total medals won. You've got until, I believe, 10 p.m. tonight. Bonk has also, it's, they're also working with Binance. Now, this is something that I'm not going to participate in, but I am letting you know because Bonk is great. Claim your free Bonk red packet from Bonk with Binance Pay. It's fast and rewarding. If we go and click on this link, essentially, how I understand it, you need to just invite friends to invite people to Binance. Invite them and then you get more red packets. I think that's how it works. And each packet consists of up to three USD worth of rewards in Bonk. The price of Bonk one year ago, this is essentially like $320 into almost $30,000. This is basically 100x. So if you did have a bonk a year ago, you'll be very soon sitting on 100x, I believe. Uprock has some more information on their DATS airdrop. And if you're into this sort of thing, I know some people are, some people aren't. Uprock iOS, you have to update your app, complete a survey, and then you have to uh, do a few more things. I'm not going to cover it in great detail, but if you want to do it, jump into Discord and just they'll have like all the information, but essentially you have to run DATS and you also have to run Uprock with like 90% uptime. 
The debts, this is a different project, the debts project. Their token is not live yet, so I can't tell you what that will be worth. Greed Academy, you have 24 hours remaining to lock in, and then you can do some lessons. The lock soul will be locked until uh, breakpoint, and then, so you just go here, and then these lessons will come soon, and then you do the lessons, and then you get more rewards. So for those people that have a little bit of time, you may want to go and do this. However, I certainly recommend staking some soul with validator.com. Now this post here relates to Nero, and there's quite a bit of news around this token. This is like a, a Doge kind of token, and there's a whole lot of drama in it. And I, I know I want to cover meme coins, but I also realize, and my team's kind of given me feedback, it moves so fast, and more often than not, you're probably going to be wrecked. So we're still going to cover them. We're just going to have like a dedicated video, maybe weekly or something, and just some general news. Either way, uh, this dev made $2.85 million. So, I mean, congratulations, but also at the same time, these things are they're just crazy. They're just crazy. And they've had their account suspended. Also, if you come to BirdEye and if you search for this, you've got so many different tokens and you've got two real tokens and they both have, I mean, this had $450 million of trading yesterday. So we'll just quickly open them up. Basically, one was already out, something like that. And then another one was created and then Ansem joined a Twitter space. And then that pumped up that one. The other one crashed. And I don't know if they've kind of recovered now. But if you have a look at them here, CT, CTJ, and this one is CTG. They have a similar pattern, strangely. But this one here is down 63%. Market cap of like 12.8. And this is 52 million and it's up. So that's kind of difficult. The final thing here is Simon's Cat token. So I covered this the other day. Leave your BNB address in replies. Remember, you need some BNB on the BNB chain. And if you don't want to bridge across a whole lot that can then be eaten away by the BNB price going down, then maybe just like $10 worth of BNB and whatever you want to do, maybe a couple hundred dollars or less of USDC. And then you can always swap that into BNB. So there's a meme coin coming out over there. It's getting plenty of attraction. We don't know. Um, 19,000 and not, even, not many people have even liked it. That's kind of strange. But either way, leave your BNB address in replies follow Simon's cat meme, turn on notifications and thank us later. And remember to block all of these um, addresses. You can go and use a DeFi Llama extension, which is this one right here. Let's dive into the actionables. So participate in the Bonk Olympics with your Bonk Rewards wallet. You know, the one that you're building your dragon with. Check all your wallets with airdrop.link. The dupe airdrop claim video ends the 31st July, 3 p.m. UTC. Infinix crate run will end July 30th. Watch my breakpoint video. You do want to get yourself to breakpoint. Airdrop actionables. Maybe check out the Cloud and INF Meteor LP on Camino. This way you can earn some met points, see if that's the right fit for you. Drop your EVM address under Simon Cat Meme. Whatever this address is, by the way, this is now publicly searchable. So whatever that address is, don't link it to something you don't want it to be linked to. If it links to a, your massive portfolio and you don't want people to know about that, use a different address, but you should have some funds in there. Sign up to Cube Exchange and complete quests and use my referral. Stake your bonk with bonkrewards.com or at bonkrewards.com. And finally, update the Uprock app, complete the survey, download debts. If you're interested in this sort of game, those that are into grass and all those sort of things, this will be right up the alley. If you're not, it's completely fine. It's not for you. That's all for today. Catch you tomorrow.